lunchtime. You know, the only thing I hate about this Asco A Casso or whatever is the volume on this camera sucks. So, if you guys are listening out there, it sucks. I gotta basically have this speaker right next to my mouth for it to pick anything up. So, terrible. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I gotta go wee wee's. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Trying to figure out what's the best. Uh, I've got the camera on my chest. Uh, I bought some longer, just in case, a good trick. This valve, if you can't get it off, or when you turn it off, it still leaks. Old ones. Uh, we just had the plumber replace that five minutes ago, but. If you can't, you carry a couple of these in your van, you can always, let me back up. So, the one that came off of here wouldn't reach all the way over to the flange. So you carry some that are a little bit longer. Uh, I carry one this long and one that's twice as long. And then you can put that on there and you can tape it down and it can drip into this flange all night. Or can reach over to the tub and leak into the tub all night if you can't get that flange off. So always good to carry these. Um, same with uh, refrigerators. I have some real long lines that I can attach to the refrigerator and snake it on over to the sink. So that way you're not held up, guys. So... Um, I will say this, last year uh, a contractor of mine had a demo guy come in and he removed the toilet, demoed a bunch of tile, and he had a valve that he couldn't get turned off and so um, he, it was really, it wasn't quite long enough and after he left the job, the the supply line came, lifted out of the flange or whatever, and dripped on the floor all night and ruined about 600 square feet of flooring. So, the sad part is he wasn't insured for that. So, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So, be careful when you say you can do it. Uh, if you have a problem and you're not covered... So I'll remove these toilets, uh, and I really shouldn't even do that, but I won't replace them. I won't put them back on. 
Happened at my house. I tore out tile and we plugged it with a towel, but the towel got it fell down in and fell down in and plugged the line and caused a backup in my house and it was just a freaking mess. Yeah, had to piss and poop and. Home Depot buckets for a weekend. Yeah, you can you know who wasn't happy at my home. My wife was not not happy at all. will stick out of the bag and make myself pretty good, pretty good over the years with those nails sticking out. side in the bathroom. Rusty one. Let's get that to bleed good. Damn it. Originally, I I told her I don't do bathroom. And then my wife, my wife, my wife's like, she calls up and they're talking on the phone and she's like, my wife's like, oh yeah, we do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the reason why, you know, kind of pick and choose your battles. Uh, this one, I looked at it and everything was just really old, 70s like. And you know, I really don't like touching stuff that old. I just, well look at, I had to have a plumber out for the 
valves, just all kinds of stuff. Anyways, so we're doing the floors. I still could have said no, but my wife's like, well, what do you want me to do, call her back? Tell her no, that'll make me look like a fool. I'm like, okay, so I'll go out there and I'll do it. But anyways, <sighs> I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Get some alcohol on that. Get that. Let it bleed really good. Let it bleed. Cover it up. Get some alcohol on that. That was a rusty one. I don't like those rusty ones. Damn it. It was just sticking up. Yeah. Anyways, so I originally originally said oh gosh, that toilet and that tub that tub is on that particle board who does that let me see oh no it's just filler yeah yeah all right anyways so i originally Got the job, uh, so it wasn't like not getting the job. But then, uh, so I came back out, looked at the bathroom. in the house, setting all that up, so we're going to be here, so I said yes, so, I try to be fair on the pricing, not like, yeah, I don't, I'll try not to do that, guys, I know we all like, yeah, anyways, so, I just keep that in mind, is that when I'm having something done, that, uh, and I really want the person to be there to do it. I just uh, hope that I get treated the same way. So, you know, sometimes you're big and stuff, and you're like, well, there's really no amount of money that can you want to do it for. So, anywho. like this, it just, <sighs> yeah, so, I didn't bid it uh, cheap, but, anyways, bid it to come out and do the work, uh, and then expect to run into a little bit of stuff, but not like, not like this, like this flange isn't even, this flange isn't attached. Look at that. So the toilet was just flopping there. And the only thing holding the toilet is, is they cut the underlayment around the toilet. So, yeah. So that's what was holding the toilet in. It was just, just uh, cutting around that. I just, it, unbelievable. I just don't know. Anyways, it didn't seem loose. But I gotta, can't put it back like that. So... So that was leaking, and then he's going to come back tomorrow and cut out the flange and extend it up a little bit. I'm going to put some plywood, 3-inch plywood around it. So we got that. We've got to figure out what's, what's going on over here.
button, but it's still pretty solid. So we won't mess with that. Oh, a couple of screws. I got to do some 3 8 plywood with probably a sheet of 30 pound fail. 30 pound fail! Yeah. This isn't too bad. Got a ton of nails. Seams are always pain in the butt. But. Why don't you just go over the top of, top of all that? Well, you know what? This, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, so they came out here. So where's that piece? So where is that? Oh, here it is. I think they cut a patch in it and fixed it. I don't feel a seam there, but this side you can definitely tell. They pulled it back, and you can see right there, they pulled it back enough to get this in there, and then they broke it and glued it back in there. So they, I think they peeled that back, re-glued it, put it in there. So... Anyways, anyways, go for it, ain't too bad until you get to the seams, and then at the seams, they're just nailed. right there. Just nails every two inches. So we'll just cut this out, put plywood all the way across, yeah, rather than tear this all out and have to put a bunch, a bunch of new underlayment in.
I did the same thing over here. Let's see what we got. Carbide blades are cheaper than those. The yeah, so I just buy the carbide blades. And I cut nails and wood with them, and they last longer, way longer. So to undercut, I use the carbide ones too. They're cheaper. Um, I buy the Bosch, but I cut all my wood, all my undercuts with it. And then it cuts nails, and uh, the teeth last for a long. Don't buy the fine, the, don't buy the nail and wood blades. <laughs> don't waste your money because you're just gonna go through blades like really fast. So they just they dull out. They, just, they get hot. The heat kills them. The best thing to do is to buy those carbide blades. And when you do, you're going to be like, wow, that blade lasts forever. I cut through nails. I cut through wood. Like I said, we do all of our uh, floor jams with it. If I need, I do have a couple of the thinner blades for delicate cuts, you know. But for the most part, I, yeah. And I haven't even bought one of those blades in a while. I can't stand to spend the money. But I can get a pack, 10 pack of these for my carbide ones. I can get a 10 pack. 10 pack. Uh, for less than 100 bucks. It used to be 89. I think I can still get them for 89. But they last longer. Cut through wood, nails. You saw me cutting the nails here, and I'll go back and I'll undercut all the door jams with it. So. Stop the base right there. We'll continue on. Let's see here. You can extend that all the way out and you can get it to lay flat and get something. And, uh, oh, my camera keeps shutting off. That won't be this. I was kind of hoping to get a hero. GoPro, I mean. Yeah, hero. Eight or something. Older model. Something I could put one of those, uh, microphones on where I could pin it to my to my shirt or something. But I don't think yeah. Anyways. I don't know if 
ASCO. I got their mic, a little guy, pinned to the side of the camera. But, but way to do it is to cut them. You saw me do that with the fine saw. That's how we do uh, flooring. We've got to pull a board out that we've nailed in that's bad. We just we just pry it up a little bit. We get underneath it. Bam, bam, bam. Pry it up and get that and just cut the staples. And again, it's a carbide blade. So, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. So since we didn't have the, since we had the plumber show up today, which doesn't always happen, uh, we're not going to need these. So put those there. Vacuum not working too well. I don't know what's going on. Plumber's going to come by, ream out the flange, we'll drop that down in there, and then uh, he'll put the flange back on top of that. So, we'll do 
that in the morning. So I got 11, 11 and a quarter, 18 and 7 eighths. I was looking through my bifocals and <laughs> it looked like it was a bow. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Let's see what this come out here. Finish this bathroom. Coat Wednesday, Thursday. Oh shoot! <sighs> I fucked up. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. That's fine. We'll just reuse that. That's okay. That's okay. Get it? No. Not yet. You need some help? No. Okay. Well, I guess I can just stick that piece uh, back in there like that, I guess. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Keep that piece with me.
get it in there. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get it in there. my piece but I'm gonna go all the way around so if I go like that like that as I want. I forgot they're taking the flange off. How many you got there? Don't we have an inch and a half? Just cut it as big as that hole there and get it around it. Yeah. What do you got there? We can go a little bigger. How much you got there? It can't be any bigger than the. What do you got? How close can you get? Can you get a quarter inch bigger than the? I just want to try to get. No, let's go to the cap. Go to the cap. The big one? Yeah. What do you got? You got it? I got some of mine. Might be inch and a quarter, I'm not sure. All right, so I am gonna go, I'm gonna go, we're gonna put this like right, right.
you need me to get one? Yeah. What do you need? I have some, uh, I think I have some decent ones in my... I go if I want to go five, I go two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Okay. So if I want to get close here, I could go seven. Seven by five. So if I go, that's pretty close. Seven by, zoom off a little bit, by five. What we got there? Oh, I like go a little more. Five. Okay. So close, close.
18. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I need 18 and 7 eighths. Right, 59. Right, 
squeak. I'm going to see if I can get out. That come off? silver cap that goes over it so too bad I didn't well I'm gonna go pick up baseboard what uh you got your tape what do I need here what do I need I need uh at least four inches huh at least uh four inches four inches four inches okay different to do a pattern huh to find the center it looks really good the only thing I could have done is uh, maybe shifted it over, but I don't, she wanted full tiles. So. Well, this one's got some tiles. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's almost, that looks good. I, I like it. I like it. Full tiles, balance. It's tough. Tough, tough, tough. That looks fine. We can get that piece in there. Um, looks good. He can come set this tomorrow. That way we have a toilet for the rest of the week. <laughs> I wouldn't want to die. So, all right. We're, we're good. We're not going to coat today, but we can vacuum everything. Um, what's that? I can't do anything upstairs because he's got to reflange it. So, uh, he'll be here at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you, you can do, well, I gotta, he's gonna pull the flange out, he's gotta ream the flange out. <sighs> well, I, we can get the undercut, we can get all that going, but he's gotta get this, uh, he's gotta take this flange out, and then we gotta cut this hole right here see that hole we'll get that we'll make sure we, it'll go around that but it's got to be pretty tight because he's got to screw that to this I can't get it in far enough so we're gonna wait till he takes that off he's gonna take this off stick it up a little bit and then I'll put the plywood down and then he'll put his flange back down on top of it so yeah I think that's why they installed the particle board around it. But anyways, that's where we're at there. That's where we're at. Not much. I'm trying to find out where, where the... I got a squeak. You want to grab the screws and bring the gun up here? Let's see if we can find this. that Is there swearing going on here? Uh, no. No. Just staring. Yeah. Making sure we're good. 
just uh, I got to wait. He's going to come back tomorrow. He didn't bring his reamer, so he's going to remove this whole flange, and then we're going to put our our plywood back down around that, and then he's going to put that flange back on top like it should be. Because there's nothing, see this? There's nothing for the screws to go into. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, what's, I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know how, <laughs> yeah. well, you know, that's, maybe that's why they put the particle board around it, you know, well, that was the only thing that was actually holding it, so that's, that's what's, that's what's funny about it, so it's like, uh, yeah, the stuff we find is just funky, funky.
I'll cut that tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I bring the chops already. Oh, uh, well, we'll just leave it on the side or whatever for now. I don't know how I... Uh, uh, well, if you want, you can cut... Uh, uh, I guess you can cut that piece a little bit long and get the bevel going on it. There, cut those two pieces. So get that cut. Cut it long. Same there. Get the bevel. Cut it long. We'll just we'll let's sit it in there with the bevel. We won't cut it to the length yet. Got it? Just cut it about an inch long, okay? We got a coat tomorrow.
what we've been up to. There we go. We'll get those pieces in there. Uh, so, what have we got there? Okay, so I might have to cut and put a little piece of return on that. I'd rather go long. Okay, I gotta go get some baseboards. Baseboards. Everything's good. So, I got that there. I don't know what they're gonna make. We'll roll the paper out for them to go up and down. I don't know what kind of mess they're gonna make. Rather than that sticky paper, I don't uh, trust the residue on the white. I'm gonna go pick up some uh, baseboards. We'll do those first things before they get here so we get that one piece behind the toilet before he sets that. Oh. I can't find that, uh, I can't find the switch for that. That one. Nope, nope. Those are just going to turn those on. Oh, I got it. Got it. I got it. Okay. Everything's good. All right. Looking good. I like it. That looks good. Good job. Hey, on the upstairs, how, um, where we could, she said we could lay it any way we want. What, uh, what, um, gonna have to vacuum before we buff. <laughs> Rehand sand the stairs. Bummer. Uh, I'd like to put a joint right here, huh? How does it click together? Does it have to be Depends lifted up? Like Same as the other? So what what is it? so it's three foot by eighteen? So eighteen gets us there. From there all the way over is nine foot. A little less, which would be three pieces. So let me see. Three gets us to there. Wait, two. I think we're gonna have to go the other way. I think I don't know. We'll figure it out. I put 
Unless we go, what do we got, 18 inches? No matter what, it gets staggered, right? Is that one full piece? Yeah, grab it. Let me see that. Oh. Watch out, there's nails. There's nails in there. I'm gonna put that in here. <laughs> rigid core. SPC, rigid core. Got us to there. Uh, no, no, that's okay. I'm just trying to think. Well, if we got to there, that'll get us. We could get that piece in and then back. It's doable. So 18 will give us another sliver there. So. I think we'll start full piece. Yeah, I think we should start probably a full piece off of, of that. Hang on, so three foot. That's going to put a little. Wow. That's a. piece over there and I don't like that so we would so we could go uh, uh, that's what I was thinking full piece full piece that's close enough you know we could go trying not to waste pieces you know so it's three foot it's it's a little under nine foot so if we just go yeah we could start there We'll start there, off of here. That's going to be a little funky piece there, but that'll give us a full piece. We'll have three pieces, right? Three pieces, another full one, full one, a half. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We'll lay off. It's either that way, or let's see if we go... That's just a waste right there. That's a waste of a lot of, yeah. Yeah, we'll come in and we'll go full piece off of here. That'll be fine. So what does that give me? Uh, hang on a second. What do we got? Uh, hang on. So that's that. Yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, it'll be uh, almost three full pieces. And then... So 18 will get me to there, and then 18, and then a little rip over here. Okay. That's how we'll do it. That's how we'll do it. You think once it goes down, we can get it to snap in? Okay. All right. I mean, they're big pieces. <laughs> we could get ourselves. I didn't want to get ourselves to where we, you know, get trapped. I don't know how you would do that in a whole house. You know what I mean? That would be freaking... Okay. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. So in the morning, we'll get here. Uh, go ahead and vacuum everything. And then um, tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll get a little bit done up here after the plumber is. I got a bid at like... I got to get out of here. So we got to be ready to, um, let me see. I'd like to get a coat tomorrow. If not, let's so see, we'll Tuesday, finish. Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe tomorrow we just focus on this bathroom because I won't be able to be here to coat at the end of the day. Let me see what I got here. Uh, Tuesday, I got a bid at 2.30. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes.
we'll see how this goes, and then if we want to, we'll jump off and do that. When you get here first thing, before I do, uh, go ahead and vacuum everything again. Yeah, I don't, um, yeah, maybe we'll just focus on uh, this bath. What's that? Down uh, no, I'm okay. Just put it on the, um, I'm okay with the stairs. There's not like a funky light or anything coming. So just have him take his shoes off and be careful. I don't know what he's going to do up here. You could bring his, uh, the blue paper or a blue cushion up here if you want. Uh, he's going to set that toilet. Let's get him to do this first. And then he can work on that toilet and put that valve back on. Mm -hmm. And he can go down there and do that. And we can be installing that bathroom. Okay. All right, we're good. Here, our lights are off. Let's close up. Lock it up. Take the key. No, we're good. We're good. He's got a Yep. He's going to come up. He's going to ream out that flange, put a new one on. I've got the plywood cut so we can put that down, and then uh, we'll have something solid to uh, put that on. He's going to put the valve back on, and he's going to set the bottom toilet tomorrow. That toilet's going to get set, so it, oh. it's done. So, um, so yeah, so then... Uh, then it basically just comes down to uh, when we get the last coat on when you come back. So, so, so you're going to be home before Saturday, Sunday. You're going to be home before Sunday. So. I might have to just stay in the hotel for a while. Uh, you might. Are you liking it? I don't want to wait. I haven't been there yet. I'm going now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where have you been staying? At the kids in Alameda. Oh, okay. So it starts tomorrow? Or or tonight. Tonight? I, I'm waiting for them to. Well, the magic... So as make your phone a key to the room. Oh, I haven't done that I'm yet. Like, fuck, I, can't. I haven't I done that yet. I just want a key. I just want to go in and lay down. <laughs> I was uh, researching some uh, vacations, and they were. Sh I'll see you in the morning, Edgar. Okay. They were showing some Vegas vacations, and they were showing the new way to key with the phone and stuff. I was like, the first time I saw that, I was like, what? Anyways, so um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so uh. You got a roommate, or is he still going to hang? coming. <laughs> well, why? Don't you think it would have done him in with the training? Oh, I thought this was for sure. This was <laughs> like, he's going to be like, I pardon my pun, he's going to be eating crow <laughs> when it's raining. He's going to be like, can I come in? <laughs> no. I only got one bed. You made you your bed. Yeah. <laughs> you made your bed. Now you're going to lie in it. Is it all cold? And what? Exactly. So, so he can come bother you now, right? But he did suggest maybe we should go in and get something out of the freezer, and we can cook it in the microwave in our room. And I'm like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I am laughing because I would think the same way. Exactly. I can always. And it's not a bad idea. No, it's not. If I planned for that. Right. But you'd need some paper plates and some silverware yeah. and napkins. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm not going to clutter my place up. I'm locked up, we're done? Yeah, he's locked up. Yep, we're good. We're out of here. All right. So, yeah, he's going to be here at 9 tomorrow. Um, yeah, we might focus.